Hey guys, welcome back. Today is an unboxing video uh, on a new part for the car. It's going to be the oil catch can. Um, let's start unpackaging it. See what it comes with. It is from Max Peating Rods. Um, I'll leave a link. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so I already unboxed it. I have it laid out, kind of have it set up where it needs to be set up. Like I have some uh, dash zeros already on. I have one of the filters on. Uh, basically just to show you where things would go. Um, this video isn't going to be for somebody that's installed them before. Um, this isn't like a complete breakdown on installation. It's basically going to show you what the kit comes with. Um, if you weren't sure where, you know, the AN90s would go or the AN10s go or um, whatever. I'm just kind of trying to help people. It's not a tutorial. It's uh, it's more a show and tell. I'm showing my new part that I got for my car. Um, and hopefully this helps somebody make their decision on a purchase or if they weren't sure if they put the 90s here, uh, the dash zeros there. And again, it depends on your room, the fitment and all that, the way you want to run it. I personally like running the dash zeros here, um, which I'm probably going to get roasted because I'm sure everybody does. But just in case, I'm just just explaining it. Anyways, so for paperwork, it comes with a max peating rods focus on performance. So basically, this car just explains uh, the company and what they're about, the quality and the testing and making sure everything comes out, you know, complete. I need to cut my fingernails. Uh, anyways, so there's, you know, their phone number, their email address, their website, um, their Facebook. Pretty sweet. The other paper that comes with it, it doesn't come with stickers. I, I, I have to get that off my chest right away. It doesn't come with stickers. Kind of shocked. I'm thinking about making a Max Peating Rod sticker uh, to put on the can because I do have a Cricut and I think it'd be pretty sweet to make. Anyways, so it comes with a customer service card too. Um, which is like a peace of mind if for some reason it's missing something, something's damaged, uh, you got a way to get a hold of people. Pretty sweet. Anyways, I would find it hard to believe that it could get damaged in shipping because it is actually uh, shipped in a nice box. It's um, well packaged. Uh, everything's individually uh, packaged also and labeled, which is pretty sweet. The hose, I took the... Um, the zip ties off because uh, to put this 90 on um, basically for the video. All right, let's check out what it comes with. So it comes with a battery tie down. If you have your stock battery box, uh, this will fit right in it. And you can use your stock battery hardware basically. I shade my engine base, so I don't have that luxury. I got to make something. Um, got to go to Home Depot or somewhere to get some aluminum and make a box. But that's pretty cool they throw that in there. Uh, this is the other air filter. They do come in these little black boxes. Uh, I already have it on, just in case if you guys didn't know where to put them. Um, just kidding. I just had it on for the video and for the pictures. Um, if you look at the can itself, it's uh, crank finished. The welds look decent. I mean, they're not, like, terrible and they're not, like, perfect, but they look pretty dang good. Like... Here it looks good, right here it kind of gets choppy a little bit, but I mean, it is what it is. For the money, it's a great, great deal, my opinion, so far. I mean, quality-wise, hopefully it holds up to a 500 horsepower dyno pool. It does have a, uh, oops, it does have a screen inside uh, to prevent splash back, which is pretty awesome. So it comes with four dash zeros, comes with four dash 90s two block ports and a block plug and then it comes with all this braided hose i hope the hose is good um if not then i'll just replace it with better hose um that's the only thing that i you know i usually get worried about when you order things and they come from another country or whatnot is the quality of hose they use uh i know that sounds weird but oil is corrosive and it could eat through cheap hose um anyways so your block ports, you uh, get washers with them, of course. Um, hold on one second, guys. Sorry, my TV unpaused for some reason. I didn't want to get copyrighted uh, for music, although I'm not even uh, 
monetized anyways. It, but yeah, back to this. Um, I think I was at the ports. These ports go where your freeze plugs are. This will plug up a hole in your block. Um, pretty, you know, self-explanatory. Um, I put the dash zeros here and the 90s here. That way, it, when I put these on my block the night i'll have room with the 90 if i put that on the block you wouldn't have room it would hit your firewall almost um but yeah this is what the kit comes with pretty sweet little kit i'll leave links down below uh where you could order it exactly which one i ordered um, it is the B-Series kit for any B-Series, basically. Um, they will give you a list of cars that will fit, like B-Series-wise. I'm putting it on a B18, B1 block with a PR3-4 head. Uh, I am using an FAT uh, custom turbo kit now. Um, basically, yeah, I'm overbuilt in this car, but yeah. Hopefully this helped you guys. Uh, thanks for watching.